Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 12th of 2023. Well, it is titled Halley dust, Mars dust, and Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the uh, meteor shower known as the Eta Aquarids. And this is actually an image from last year's meteor shower, which occurred about this time of year. And we show last year's and not this year's because this year's was not as good of a show. Not necessarily because there were not as many meteors, but simply because we had a full moon, which made the sky so much brighter and makes it very difficult to be able to see the meteors. So when the sky is brighter, the fainter of the meteors are not visible. And while you can still see the brighter ones, you do lose a little bit of the show here. Now here we see images taken between April 28th and May 8th of last year and then put together to show all of those meteors and you can see them all streaking across the sky. Now the meteors are little bits of material often of a comet and in this case of Comet Halley. So they're material that is left behind in the orbit. Now those particles continue to orbit the sun just as the comet did. So they will orbit once every 76 years but they're strewn around the orbit. So every year when we pass through the orbit we pick up some of those materials, the one that happens to be coming by that at that time, and they will then hit the Earth's atmosphere and are vaporized. And that's what we see here. Now you'll note that they all seem to be coming from the same direction. It's almost if you trace them back, they'd seem to come from a point down in towards the lower middle of this image. That is what we call the radiant point of the meteor shower. And it's how the meteors get their name. Uh, meteor showers get their name because they appear to radiate from a constellation or maybe a star within that constellation. It's really just an optical illusion because all of them are traveling parallel in the same orbit through space and that makes it look like they converge off in the distance much as a pair of railroad tracks or telephone poles will appear to converge off in the distance here on earth these will do so in the sky so these are little bits of dust left behind from the uh, from Halley's Comet now Mars is pictured here and you can see three planets going up starting with the brighter uh, Venus down at the bottom and going up through Venus Jupiter right above it. Then the red planet Mars a little ways above that and a little further up a similar distance up we see Saturn. This is all four of those planets there are actually within a little glowing area called the zodiacal glow or zodiacal light that we see. And Mars is one of the planets that is believed to be a possible for a lot of the dust that we see in that portion of the sky. And that could be due to particles that have escaped from Mars as has recently been uh, projected by some studies from the Juno spacecraft, which flew by that region. And a lot of the particles seem to be coming from Mars. So it's very interesting that the zodiacal light that we see is dust in the solar system, that a lot of those particles may have actually originated on the red planet. So that was our picture of the day for May 12th of 2023. It was titled Haley Dust, Mars Dust and Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the Crescent Earth. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.